I'm here with junior defenseman from the men's ice hockey team, David Warsawski. Dave, how you doing? Good, how are you? Now, first off, how'd you get into ice hockey? Uh, well, first off, I have three older brothers, so I come from uh, kind of a big family, and growing up, they all played ice hockey, so it's kind of one of those things where you got older brothers and you want to follow in their footsteps, so kind of just taking after them, uh, playing street hockey around the town, so that's how I got into hockey for me. Now, you're a local kid from uh, Marshfield, Massachusetts. A lot of other uh, D1 college hockey teams, though, in the New England area. Why did you choose to come to Boston University? Uh, it was kind of one of those family things, too. Growing up, my next-door neighbor was Mike Sullivan. He played at Boston University, too. So it's kind of one of those things you have an idol when you're young, and then you look up to them, and you want to follow in their footsteps. So for me, it was kind of a, uh, a no-brainer to come to BU. Now, you play for one of the most legendary coaches in college hockey history, and Coach Jack Parker. What does it mean to play for a guy like him? Oh, he definitely has a ton of experience. You kind of, every day you're learning something new from him, and you know when you go to practice, uh, you're getting the best coach you can get around the world. So uh, just going to practice every day is a treat for me, and uh, learning from someone who has so much experience is unbelievable. Now, you're only five foot nine, not exactly the prototypical type for defenseman. How do you get past your, I guess, smaller size to prove that you really deserve to be in the NHL eventually? Uh, for the most part, I think just use my speed. Yeah, I'm not the biggest guy out there, but... Uh, just use my speed and try and outsmart my opponents. I think that's the, uh, that's the best way for me to beat them and hopefully to get to where I want to be when I'm older. Now, is there anyone that currently plays in the NHL or once did that you try to uh, emulate your game after? I think someone right now would maybe be Brian Rafalski. He's, uh, he's a smaller offensive defenseman. Uh, he's kind of my height, maybe a little bit smaller. So he kinda, uh, you watch him on TV take tips from his game and uh, try and incorporate them into yours. Now, you were drafted uh, fourth round, 95th overall by the St. Louis Blues in 2008. Then this past summer, you were traded to the Boston Bruins. How did it feel to get tr not only drafted, but then traded to your hometown team? Well, uh, first of all, being drafted was a dream come true for one. Uh, every kid growing up dreams to play in the NHL. And then to uh, be traded to the Bruins, your hometown team, was another dream come true. It was just to hopefully one day wear the black and gold for your hometown fans. It's just unbelievable, and uh, I'm looking forward to the experience. Now, you're a member of the World Junior United States team this past winter that won the gold medal against Canada in overtime. What did it mean to you representing your country at such a young stage in your career and then also winning the gold medal? Yeah, uh, playing for your country is something you can't even put into words. It's, you put on that jersey and uh, kind of everything just disappears. And uh, especially winning the gold medal there was a once-in-a-lifetime chance. There's not many kids that uh, have the opportunity to wear the USA jersey and... Uh, Hopefully one day I can again, but I think I treasure that moment forever. So some of the members of the team at the end of last year faced some discipline. One of them was Vinny Sapineri, who was kicked off the team. Now, he's taking a year off as he has to. He's playing in the USHL, but it uh, came out that he's going to play at Boston College next year. How do you feel about that? Yeah, uh, at first we were all a little bit surprised by uh, Vinny going to BC, but uh, I mean, he has the option to go wherever he wants in college hockey, and uh, he was one of my friends, so you kind of wish the best for him. It's, it's going to be different playing against him next year and uh, him on the other side, especially him going to BC. It's right down the street, and we have such a big rivalry with, it, with them. But, uh, you know, you wish him the best. Uh, we all wish the best for each other in our hockey careers, so hopefully he does well there and continues uh, successfully on to another level after that. Now, you were on the national championship team when you were a freshman, and you were on the team last year, which didn't quite fulfill expectations. Um, how do you take the experience of being on both those teams and teach the freshmen? First year we had a lot of success, and then obviously last year we didn't do so well. So you take the good with the bad and uh, try and incorporate that all into this season where, you know, you got to stay focused. Um, we're off to a good start so far, but, you know, it's still a long way to go. And uh, we know that from last year. We started off well, but we had a disappointing end. So you just got to stay focused and uh, keep your eyes on the uh, prize at the end. Preseason rank number 14th in the country, uh, number four in Hockey East predicted. Uh, any expectations for the year? I mean, I think uh, just improve from last year. Uh, you don't want to say you want to finish first in the nation. I think that's every team's goal. So just uh, we want to get better every day and uh, climb the rankings and hopefully uh, finish, her finish first in our division first and then uh, hopefully make our way to Minnesota and win a national championship. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Now back to you guys.